Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel, right? So Kabam is dropping some information on us today and it is all about sagas. Sagas, yes, that is. Today we're excited to introduce you to a brand new addition to the contest, sagas. Sagas are a multi-month long seasons of content that will provide a consistent link between different areas of the game and give strength and relevance to your roster. Our goals for Sagas are to create more connection, bringing different parts of the game together in interesting ways, create more purpose, providing more value to existing rosters and create new value for rank ups and chasing champions and to provide more rewards with reward identity unique to Sagas. We'll be sharing more information about Sagas throughout this week, but you can start with our introduction to Sagas. We're going to check that out in a bit. We'll have video dropping later this week to be sure and be sure to tune in to our live stream, which we will. P.S. Nightcrawler is getting a surprise tune-up. Check out his spotlight for more information. That will be a separate video later today. Right. So, let's take a look at what Kabam has written out about Sagas so far. What are they? Sagas are three months, month long seasons of content that will provide a canvas for solo and multiplayer content in addition to our regular monthly content. Champions with Saga tags, such as X Magica, will be receiving a temporary attack and health boost that applies to all areas of the contest, including Alliance War, Battlegrounds, Raids, Alliance Quest, Incursions, Event Quest, Side Quests and Arenas. Since Battlegrounds attack is mentioned, I will take this opportunity to remind you guys that I am hosting Battlegrounds Championship Series starting the very next season, Season 16, with 4000 plus total rewards pool. It will consist of 5 tournaments, each has a minimum prize of $500, and uh, grand prize will be iPhone or cash equivalent, depending where you are in the world. You need to join Amazon members thread to be able to participate in these tournaments. And that's it, basically. Also, every single tournament, a random participant is going to get $50 gifted uh, to them just for taking part. It is kind of my way of trying to give back to the people who support my channel as well. So I wish to see you there, guys. But back to the point. Uh, this is the bit that kind of gets me worried. Uh, I am excited about a lot of this stuff, for most part. Uh, there is a little bit of me that thinks that uh, MCOC is getting a bit too hard to keep up. But uh, we're going to discuss perhaps that in a different video or towards the end shortly. But the point is that depending how big that boost is, it could get me worried because these are three months long temporary, you know, buffs to the champions, which means, you know, they're going to put a tag on like a Groot or whatever champions. And then it's like, hey, rank up the champion because it's, you know, needed to keep up in Battlegrounds this season or these three seasons. And then afterwards, you kind of stuck with that champion. So I'm not entirely sure how I feel about the fact that this also affects the most competitive game modes. I think if it was like arena side quests, event quests, incursions, like alliance quests, I think all that and raids, all of that would be fine. I'm not entirely sure it was a good idea to include alliance wars and battlegrounds because those are the most competitive game modes. But we'll see. Hopefully it runs fine. This boost will begin on March the 6th, continue through all three months this saga is running. After a new saga with a new set of champions will begin. In addition, the boost to the champions pool, which is shared below, the saga tactic champions will be highlighted across the game mode in additional content. Alliance War Tactics, Balance Matters, Challenge Objectives, Incursions, Challenge Sectors, Boosts and Notes. X Magica will be the first tag introduced and will uh, with the following champion pool. So it's largely Mystic Champions and Mutant Champions with X Magica. So you can have Longshot, Hood, Dr. Voodoo, Mojo, Symbiote Supreme, Kushala, Weekend, Sorcerer Supreme, Dragon Man, Deathless Guillotine, King Root, Magic, Spidey Supreme, Werewolf by Night, Black Widow, Claire Warrant, and the rest, uh, the mutants, including Domino. So Domino is going to be rougher on defense now. Defensive tactic, Magic Thief champions. Again, we don't know what these tactics are exactly, but yay, we're going to have a defensive buffs as well. Saga rewards. One of our goals with Sagas is to provide summoners with more rewards unique to Sagas, including exclusive seven star champions and Saga specific champion items, including rank up gems, signature stones, and more. Now, I do like that bit when you do have these exclusive and specific rank up resources because they typically are a little bit easier to acquire than generic items because 
obviously they are limited in their use. Bump. <laughs> For our first saga, summoners can collect rune stones across many different game modes to exchange for newly buffed Nightcrawler. Summoners can trade in those rune stones for a guaranteed Nightcrawler. Paragon and Valiant players can even earn a 7 star Nightcrawler. More details will be provided in future, so keep an eye here for a full rewards breakdown in near future. Definitely critical juncture there whether these sagas are worthwhile and how good the rewards are going to be because, you know, that ultimately decides everything. This community can put up with a lot of BS if the rewards are good enough. And it's going to be interesting to see that. Magic Heist. Before our first saga starts in March, we'll kick off a preview event centered around an exclusive arena called the Magic Heist beginning on February the 28th. So on Wednesday. Summoners will need to have their 6 and 7 star rosters ready to tackle an arena that is sporting additional rewards to complete daily objectives that will award you with raffle tickets for Serpent. After the end of the arena, the raffle will give out 100 6 star versions of brand new champion coming this March, the Serpent. Summoners who are Paragon or higher will have a chance to win one of the 10 7 star versions of the Serpent. I like that. I do like this bit. For those summoners who are Paragon or Valiant, they will get even more points when fighting daily with their 7-star champions in this arena. Completing the daily arena objectives will also grant points in the Magic Heist solo event, earn rewards such as X Magic Runestones, which can ex be exchanged for 5 to 7-star Nightcrawler, story progression depending, Saga exclusive signature stones and rank-up gems, as well as Inferno Nexus Crystals, which include resources to keep your team in fighting shape. Inferno Next Crystals will only be stable during the Magic Heist event, so make sure to claim the treasures before the event ends or the crystals will be lost forever. More information about sagas and events that will launch with them in April will be available soon. So, that was a lot to go over. And overall, again, it is good. I always like when new and exciting things are happening. Uh, it, it's, I suppose, kind of like Cap Salmon caps enlistment event just perpetual and consistent that's at least my idea with it and kind of expanded upon um definitely will be interesting to see how well this you know works because uh, obviously we are all half expecting plenty of these things not to necessarily work properly but ultimately it could have a binding effect in the game which I, is something that i do think we need in the game uh kind of bringing different events together now, again, it will be super important, you know, with all the restrictions, whether it's alliance or solo based events, uh, you know, how all of that works with changing alliances. Ultimately, there is a little bit of me that is thinking that, you know, MCOC is very hard to keep up with these days. In between Battlegrounds, uh, War, Alliance Quest, Raids, Monthly Event Quest content, stuff like that, there's a lot to do in this game on a perpetual basis. And, you know, Kabam eventually we'll have to retire some of the game modes or you know do something else uh like a big example for instance at the moment is arenas like since balagons have been introduced obviously the arena usage has dropped significantly at least for me personally but i know a lot of people as well so yeah hopefully it is something that you know rewards us for doing what we do in the game already pretty much maybe just you know making slightly different decisions maybe make you know bringing in different champions in the quest teams which is fine you know for instance whilst we're exploring eq you know we might as well be earning points to that if we use the specific tag champions or something of the sort if it is something that we need to do on top of all on top of arena on top of everything else then uh i think it could be uh well it could be rough but Ultimately, I'm still excited. Can't wait to hear all the information about it. As I said before, the rewards are going to either make or break this event. You know, the reward structure and how enticing things things there will be will entirely, you know, decide whether this is something that people work towards, factor in, focus on, and play specifically for it, or it's just something that's you know lurking somewhere in the background of the game, and you know, you get what you get type of situation. Ultimately, uh, it's very cool to see a surprise buff, uh, for sure. Uh, the buff actually looks half decent for a smaller unannounced tune-up, so I will be covering all of that in a separate video. As well as, I want to ask all of you guys to leave as much of your thoughts in this video uh, in the comment section. 
as possible because I will probably be doing a follow up video to this based on your feedback and how I, you know, whether you're excited or not, or whether there are valid concerns. Uh, because this is a lot to take in, and obviously, information has just dropped, so I haven't fully processed it. So, uh, I definitely need to kind of like gather my thoughts myself, and I want to hear from you guys. And uh, based on that, I'll do a follow up video about sagas tomorrow or day after. So, uh, Hit that like button, drop a comment. Do not forget about the Battleground Championship Series, should you choose to join. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about...